If your health benefits plan is fully insured, you're riding an escalator that only goes up. Fully funded plans pay higher fees and additional costs associated with health care reform. And as claims rise across all markets, fully funded plans will feel the greatest financial impact. The way off that escalator is through self-funding, an approach long embraced by large employers. But traditional self-funding methods left many mid-market employers just one big claim or serious ongoing medical condition away from financial hardship. So it's time for a different approach. It's time to consider a captive solution. Captives allow like-minded employers to self-fund as a group. They've been around long enough to prove that they can save you money, up to 13% at renewal time for a typical employer. How? Well, let's compare. When you're fully funded, your money is pulled with other groups, groups you don't choose or know anything about. Their risk factors, history, demographics, and corporate culture are just big question marks. If your projected claims are $500 per employee per month, and the pulled claims are $600 per employee per month, your costs will go up. Instead of realizing any benefits from keeping claims low, you're paying more to support the pull. And if you're outperforming the pull, you do not want to be swimming in it. In a group captive, members are carefully selected and paired with high-performing companies with similar risk profiles. It's self-insurance with less volatility because of aggregation. You can benefit from a positive claims experience in two ways. If your actual claims come in below what you've budgeted for them. If the captive overall performs well, you have the opportunity to receive dividends. That's right, captive dividends go back to the member groups. Guess who keeps the dividends from fully insured plans? The insurer. Self-funding doesn't mean no insurance protection at all. You still buy stop loss to protect you from large claims. So let's look at the basic structure of a group captive. Every participating company self-funds their own group's individual claims up to an individual stop loss level of their choosing, ranging from $25,000 to $75,000 depending on the risk tolerance. For simplicity, we're assuming a risk tolerance of $25,000 for all members. Once the self-funding maximum is reached for a member, the captive funding kicks in. Think of a captive as a shared bank account. Every member puts money in monthly, and the money is used to reimburse large claims above the individual stop-loss level, but only up to the captive stop-loss reinsurance level. $250,000 in this example. The captive contributions will vary for each member, based on individual group demographics, plan design, underwriting risk, and stop-loss levels. The only true insurance you're buying is here at the $250,000 and up stop-loss level. And because you're buying it as a captive group, you're buying it at a group rate. Since margins and stop-loss premiums can be as much as 40% for lower specific deductibles, reducing the premium you pay to the carrier for a $250,000 deductible will also create savings for the captive members. That is to say, if you were to purchase a $25,000 stop-loss policy on your own, you might have a rate of $50 per employee per month. If the collective captive groups buy a $250,000 stop-loss policy, the premium may be only $10 per employee per month. To recap, you're insuring yourself in the first layer. You're insuring each other in the captive layer and you're covered by a traditional stop-loss policy in the third layer, when claims exceed $250,000. It's a non-traditional approach, but employees won't notice. They'll still get a traditional insurance card to use for medical services and prescriptions. That's because we work with three national third-party administrators and can select a network that's best for you. Captives also offer risk management technology prescription pricing transparency, and other features to drive lower costs. Want to know more? 